Hey, what's going on everybody? It's George coming at you with another video. And tomorrow I am taking my CCNA exam. So after the CCNA, I'm going to go ahead and pursue the Microsoft certification exam. So the MCSA 2012 is what I'm going to be pursuing. So in order to do that, what I'm going to need to do is set up a home lab. And what I'm going to be using is this program called uh, VirtualBox by Oracle. You can download it at the virtualbox.org website which is right here. This is pretty much a free virtualization program by Oracle. Uh, it's very familiar to things like VMware or Hyper-V. Not, not like Hyper-V but it's a lot like VMware. So I would say go ahead and go to this website if you want to follow along and go ahead and uh, download it. So pretty simple just go to the downloads page I'll have all the links up here in the description I'm also going to need a program I'm um, sorry not a program but a um, image of PFSense and what PFSense it's pretty much what it is it's a firewall slash router uh, emulation program it, we're not emulation it, it's an operating system that essentially does your routing for you so this is going to pretty much serve as my router for my for the virtual network so that kind of emulates having a router uh, rather than having to connect uh, to rely on your home network to provide the routing you can provide it from this PFSense box so you're gonna need that download as well so you can go to the download page and uh, do the new installs so go ahead and figure out that um, we might also need uh, Ubuntu or Debian I would say go ahead and, and install um, Ubuntu if you're new to Linux because even though the MCSA doesn't require any Linux stuff I still want to kind of learn so that's kind of on the side so you can install Ubuntu for that if you want to do some uh, some Linux sysad sysadmin roles now what I'm gonna need is uh, Windows Server 2012 so you can get an evaluation copy here uh, for 90 days so you can download the the ISO uh, and it's 180 days of trial so that's pretty good and I'm gonna also need Windows 8 so download a free 90 day trial so the good thing is you can keep on uh, renewing it over and over and over uh, so that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and put these links in the description and that's what you're gonna need so but for now VirtualBox that is uh, what we're gonna be working with right now so I have VirtualBox here pulled up as you can see I already have my um, my workstations here these are Windows 8 computers these are the client computers uh, these two right now are the uh, the domain controllers this is the first one and the backup domain controller they're still not set up at all pretty much these here they're all link clones so what I created was a base so I pretty much did a Windows Server update and uh, I installed Windows Server on this one and Windows 8 on this one did all the updates put in anything that I thought I might need and um, once the base install was done I right clicked and made link clones but um, I'm gonna go ahead and save that for for later on uh, but what I'm gonna show you now is how to cr actually create a PFSense router uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that by uh, really uh, you can use this tutorial to install anything so let's try Ubuntu here so so what you need to do is go to new and then type in the operating system that you're gonna use so let's just say Ubuntu and uh, next now for the servers I went ahead and gave each of the servers uh, one, 1,000 megabytes or one gigabyte of memory and I did the same thing for each of the workstations so I have eight gigabytes on my computer so if you have less I would say give it at about 512 alright so and if you have more maybe you might want to allocate maybe two gigs to each server so but for now Ubuntu that's fine 512 you want to create a virtual hard drive Okay. I went ahead and just made it a VDI. 
Now, what I like to do is to dynamically allocate the size of the physical hard drive or the virtual hard drive. Uh, here, it allocates 8 gigabytes of your hard drive to it. But what's going to happen, it's only going to take up what it needs and it'll take up the rest of the 8 gigs once it needs it. So I would say, honestly, 16 gigs is not really that much. So I will go up to about uh, 16 gigs. But since this is just a tutorial, I'm going to delete it anyway. You can just make it 8 gigs. Uh, once that's done, you create it. So before you turn it on, what you want to do is highlight it or right click on it and click settings. Some of the things I change uh, in the um, what you can do in the system here, you can change the boot order. For now, I'm going to keep it like that. You can change the number of processors that this uses on the servers and the workstations. I have two processors working on it, and as well as the um, the display, I have the video memory all the way up on on the workstations here. So I would try that out as far as the storage you could actually load your image here but I'm going to show you a separate way to install Ubuntu alright so here is where all the magic is really going to happen um, what you need to do here on the Windows servers what you need is you need to have one adapter you need to have your network adapter uh, internal network and this here is going to come out internet so you want to keep that the same and this is all the default so there's only going to be one network adapter and that's going to be for your internal network what this does is it allows your server to just communicate with the virtual machines that you have in this virtual environment it doesn't mess with anything in your home environment at all so that's really what we want alright so yeah, you see here you can reallocate memory uh, and uh, you can also select how many processes you want to use and, and stuff like that here I have I do have the Windows Server mounted here but I'm gonna show you uh, another way to do that and here on the Windows 8 installation I have uh, one gig and two processors as well full memory um, and on the network that's going to be the same as well. It's going to be internal network and internet. All right. So now on the PFSense router, that one's a little different. Uh, that one doesn't need as much memory. So I have 256 megabytes. You can put 512 if you want to. One CPU. Uh, the display is just normal. Uh, again, I have the the drive mounted. Here, what I decided. What, well, what you should do in order to make this emulator router is to have two adapters. The first one be, being a bridge adapter and this is my network card on the back of my computer. So this is kind of emulating a outside connection from your router. So on the back of most routers you'll have a internet port and then you'll have the switch ports on the back. So this is kind of the one that's coming the um, the port on the back of the router that comes from your that comes from your modem so this is what it's emulating so that's why it's bridged it's bridging my internet connection from this computer to this first adapter and then adapter number two is a internal network internet and that's pretty much what's distributing the internet to the virtual environment so that's the way that works so everything else is is pretty much standard here alright so now to go ahead and install an operating system on a new uh, installation here uh, you can just go ahead and click on it double click and click OK now here it asks you where is the startup disk you can go ahead and open it up and navigate to your ISO file go ahead and install your latest version of Ubuntu server or Ubuntu whatever you'd like so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and select um, hmm alright I'll just select this one and open and once you do that you go ahead and click start and then uh, you should go ahead and go through the installation and this is pretty much 
standard for Windows Server and for uh, for Windows 8. Uh, for Windows Server, I would just say get be sure that you select uh, the GUI. So we're going to be using the the GUI or the graphical user interface and make sure that it's like the the data center version so it's like the best one so from here you can go ahead and install Ubuntu I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, uh, power it off because I'm not actually gonna um, have this so you right click on it and remove and delete all files okay so yeah so once you have uh, your Windows Server up what I did was took a couple of little snapshots um, so the way you do that is by uh, uh, when you have your your servers open you can uh, there's a way to do snapshots but I'll be uh, showing you guys how to do that but hopefully you got the idea of how to install your base stations and in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to create uh, link clones from based off of these bases so again once you install your operating systems here it's gonna be these two uh, what you're gonna do after that is go ahead and um, do the updates uh, install a couple of uh, basic programs that you think you might need so uh, if you're gonna do this in order I would say go ahead and do the server first do the Windows 8 computers and then after that we can go over how to do the PFSense router so um, thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed if you did uh, rating is much appreciated and comments are always welcome I'll see you guys next time